at the heart of this story is the relationship between these two brothers. And uh, in some ways, this is a retelling of the Cain and Abel story. Um, but it, you know, it's set, it, it has a different setting. It is really, in essence, a terrible love story gone wrong between two brothers who are very clearly very attached and very bonded to each other and, and who share an immigrant history and, and, and culture, but have, have been ripped apart by, by a traumatic event. Well, when uh, George sent me the piece originally, what really drew me to it is what, um, that it is a very layered story and that he's really trying to get to the complexities, the human and the emotional underpinning to what drives people to movements like radical Islam or jihadism or then to, to violence that ensues thereof. And that it's often, or most often actually, um, grounded in, in emotional turmoil, in, in trauma. It's also just as much about how we, how we come to this country and how we fare and how much of us is in what we make of being here in the U.S. One of the things that I really want always with audiences that come to see my shows is that they A, want to talk about it afterwards and B, that it really opens something up in their minds and in their imagination. Because I think that is one of the prime tools of theater, is to open up our imaginative tools. Basically, we, we are pros of the imaginative muscles, and audiences come to us, like to a gym, to, to train and to exercise their imaginations. Well, people who want to hold on to prejudices, people who want to, you know, sort of continue to believe that um, people who do these things aren't human and don't have other motivations other than sort of a religious fanaticism. Um, that's kind of a broad brush, right? So if you want to hold on to that kind of belief, then this is probably not the kind of show to see.